Hey guys, Gracie here. I'm your SEO from the East Side. Sorry about not posting videos like we promised. I was actually in China the week I was supposed to post and I was there for like a whole month so I had no way of accessing YouTube. So the STOs and I decided to just wait till school started to start posting videos. I am here now to kickstart our YouTube vlog where you can come check us out every single week. We'll have a new video. Um, the order is going to be Gracie, which is me, Sydney, Lucy, and Nick. And then we'll just rotate like that every single week. We'll get to see us and get to know us better and hopefully we can get to know you as well. Anyways, on to something more fun. A few days ago, I had the lucky opportunity to actually meet Mary Kate Wiles. And if you guys don't know who that is, she is this amazing actress from LBD, Lizzie Bennett Diaries. If you guys don't know what that is, there will be a link down below because Lizzie Bennett Diaries is totally awesome and you should totally check it out and get addicted like I did. Anyways, moving on, Mary Kate Wiles, she plays Lydia on Lizzie Bennet Diaries, uh, Zelda on Squaresville, Sansa Stark on School of Thrones. Basically, she's just like this up and coming, amazing actress, and she graciously agreed to vlog with me and give you guys some tips on acting and the business and all that stuff. So, without further ado, Mary Kate Wiles. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mary Kate Wiles. <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to ask Mary Kate Wiles some awesome questions about theater stuff so all you people can know what she does. Cool, Yay. How did you get into theater? Well, um, I was always in dance classes and choirs growing up and I really liked performing and um, I did it in high school and I really started feeling like I could maybe try it as a career so I just kept pursuing it. Who inspires you? My favorite actress is Kate Blanchett, which you may know if you follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I love her so much and I think she's so beautiful and so classy. I'm inspired by stories. I love The Lord of the Rings. J.R.R. Tolkien, I think, is one of the best storytellers and that story makes me want to uh, tell stories myself. Any acting tips for all those fellow lesbians? Work as hard as you can. Don't give up. Don't tell any. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it. Um, it's gonna be hard. You yeah. know that. But uh, just if you're really passionate about it, follow it with all your heart. Always be kind. Always be uh, a listener. And just um, follow your heart. What's your favorite musical or play? Oh, this is a very difficult question. Really lovely Miz, um, as most people do. I think my favorite musical that I've ever been in is Brigadoon. It's an old one, but it's very, very good. What are your tips all about nerves? Nerves. Yes. Um, a thing that helps me, obviously, is always like taking a few deep breaths, but knowing that no matter what happens, I'm not going to die. I'm going to be okay. And whatever happens, happens, and it's what's meant to be. And just know that you can't really have any control over anything except yourself. And just do what you can do, and then let the rest be. So Sherlock Holmes is pretty popular right now. So who do you prefer, Benedict Cumberbatch or Robert Downey Jr.? Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict is amazing. He's so good. I love him. Are you Cumberbatch then? Cumberbatch. <laughs> is that what they're called? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I've also heard Cumber mentioned. Sure, why not? I don't think I get into the fandom as much as probably some people do, but I definitely like him and I admire his work. I think he's very, very good. Yeah. What was your favorite role? I can't choose. Like, there's no way that I can pick because, you know, I love certain things about Lydia. I love certain things about Zelda. I love certain things about Allie. Um, each role that I play, um, helps me discover new things about myself and about people and humans in general and I'm so thankful for that. <laughs> What's your favorite part of being an actress? Probably meeting you guys and uh, making things that mean something to people because that's what I love about movies and stories is that they mean something to me. How do you get into character? Uh, <laughs> Just get ready to say the words that you're going to say, and you try and figure out maybe how your character feels about those words and how they're feeling. And, I mean, it just depends. Like, it, it totally depends on what the scene is, what part it is. Costuming always helps. It always helps when you put on the costume and you're, like, in it. What's a 
it like being an actress in LA? It's very hard, but it's very rewarding. Uh, it's very fun, and I am every day so blessed that I get to be doing what I've always wanted to do. Even if sometimes I can't get a job and I'm so mad and I have no money to pay my bills or whatever, uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Anything you want to do in the future? Just want to tell every story. I want to tell all the stories. I want to be in all the things. I want to do like crazy supernatural stuff. I want to do like action stuff. I want to do like dramatics. Like I want to do everything. Do you have any like crazy things you want to do? do you, like go skydiving or something? No. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> I'm really fun. What's your craziest fan story? Now that you're so popular and such. Not even. Oh, what's my craziest fan story? There's so many. There's the time when a girl asked me to sign her copy of The Hobbit and I started crying. Because I was like, seriously, I can't. But I did. Uh, there's a time when somebody told me last year at VidCon that they didn't realize that Lydia and Zelda were the same person. So that was pretty cool. This wonderful family that's here today sent me the best care package ever. Everything has been great. Meeting every single one of you guys that watch my stuff, like it's just the coolest. Thanks for watching. You're great. Bye. Don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe.